Mountain Drive area as it intersects business I-95. That's where the rotation is. That's where we're seeing uh, this uh, pinpointed by our Doppler radar as it continues to move to the north. So get to a place of safety. If you can hear our voice, turn up the TV, go to uh, the interior portion of your uh, home to the lowest level and turn up the TV and we'll let you know uh, where the areas that are affected and also areas that are no longer under the uh, gun with this tornado. In fact, it looks like to me, Chris, it is now moving away from Hope Mills and now the threat is uh, just in the southern regions of, of downtown Fayetteville right now. Yeah, and it's moving quickly, Scott. So this is going to be in and out of Cumberland County in the next uh, 20, 25 minutes. Hopefully there is not a tornado on the ground. Again, this is Doppler indicated. And when you're seeing it, sometimes you look at this on the radar and what Scott's backing that up and you'll actually see it now go forward. When you you see these colors, they may kind of look uh, kind of, uh, well, confusing. But when we look at this, what we're looking at are the colors, the dark greens and the dark reds butting up against each other. And that's a sign that the winds are going away from the radar and towards the radar in a very short area, a very small area, which indicates rotation aloft at least, not necessarily at the ground, but uh, in the storm itself. So that tornado warning is issued by the National Weather Service when they see that signature there of rotation in that area. It doesn't necessarily mean there is one on the ground. But uh, again, here's a new statement in from the National Weather Service. We can go back to uh, Weather 3 and you'll be able to see the storm perhaps a little bit more, uh, at least in the terms you're used to seeing with the uh, heavy rain there and uh, the uh, uh, tornado warning that's in effect now for Cumberland County. No other warnings are in effect. Uh, there is some heavy rain in many spots, but it's mainly uh, right here in Cumberland County. Now, if you're in Harnett County, Johnston County, if this holds together, you may be under warnings very shortly as well. But the uh, Doppler radar, National Weather Service Doppler radar and ours here continues to indicate a possible tornado near Vander or close to Fayetteville moving northeast at 45. So locations included uh, Bonnie Doon, Eastover, Wade, Falcon, Godwin, Linden. If you're in any of those areas, go ahead Ahead, take cover. Again, small room, interior room on the uh, lowest floor of your house. And I think our producer told us we have a DOT cam we can uh, go to and uh, show you. This is uh, Fayetteville, I believe. Is that right? Bragg Boulevard, Bragg, uh, Bragg Boulevard, and you see uh, some traffic there stopped at the light. Nothing too threatening there right now, but at least some uh, rainfall across the region there. But uh, so far, at least, uh, uh, no reports of any damage anywhere so far today uh, across the region from any of these showers and storms. But the threat of severe weather is just now increasing across the region. It'll be with us through the uh, early evening hours and then diminish as we head through the later evening hours. And uh, the good news with this, if there is any, uh, is that this is not going to be one of those nighttime events where folks or most folks are sleeping and won't hear any warnings that are issued. Uh, we're back now to our uh, what we call our velocity data, which just shows us that this signature is still fairly evident there, Scott. Yeah. And uh, right over Fayetteville now, mm -hmm. though, at least from that uh, tower cam there, at Bragg Boulevard, uh, things look to be pretty good. Well, I'm throwing a few streets there because sure. it's right there uh, in the city of Fayetteville where that rotation is overhead now. Uh, again, uh, so far no reports of any damage, but this is right over the downtown area, Hayes Street and uh, William Street. So if you're anywhere around Fayetteville and then heading north, potentially probably a little bit to the east of Fort Bragg, but into northern Cumberland County, uh, you want to be uh, d definitely on alert for potentially... Uh, severe weather and perhaps even a tornado. Yeah, it's, it's right through the downtown region. Now, what we're doing here is we're using uh, the advantage of our seven live radars. We're using this as the Wilmington radar site. So it's a little bit closer. It's able to pick up this uh, area of possible rotation. And uh, that's that's why it's, it's moving right over the Fayetteville area right now. And the, the radar site is actually towards the bottom. So where you're seeing red, that's indication of motion away from the radar site. And then green is motion towards the radar site. And where these uh, what we call pixels of red and green are right next to one another. That's where the rotation is. But uh, again, Chris, we don't have any confirmation that anything's touched down at this time. Right? Yeah, and that's the good news. So far, none of that. This is all indicated by radar, but uh, many times that's what, of course, you see first. Tornadoes don't just drop out of the sky uh, just with uh, nothing going on aloft. Uh, the rotation starts in the storm aloft and sometimes can work its way down to the ground. And that's why these uh, Doppler radars, ours, the National Weather Service is all, uh, again, uh, very helpful in indicating where that uh, potential rotation could be. Now, what uh, we've got there is you see the boxed area yeah, that's where the tornado warning is in effect. So Wade, uh, Fayetteville, and uh, anywhere along, and especially anywhere really along Interstate 95, yeah, heading right. heading towards uh, Johnston County and uh, potentially uh, also Harnett County. Uh, there you see some of the areas that could be affected in the next, uh, say, 10 minutes or so across that uh, area of the Sand Hills. And uh, the storm could eventually make its way into Wake County, but we're not getting the uh, the shear markers anymore, Scott, which is uh, uh, what we had earlier. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that things have weakened by any stretch, but that's the 
little rotating uh, symbols you see on the screen have diminished. If we go back uh, to uh, weather uh, three, you can see again, that's another view of this storm is that uh, it now is approaching uh, sections of Harnett County. So if you're around Anderson Creek, Dunn, Irwin, those areas you may want to just plan on at least being ready to take cover in case a warning is issued. There's not a lot of lightning with these storms today. We've had some rumbles of thunder, uh, not a lot of cloud to ground lightning anyway. There's been uh, some cloud to cloud uh, lightning. You've heard some rumbles of thunder, no doubt, but uh, this is not going to be one of those noisy storm systems that uh, you're uh, that we get in the spring and summer. Uh, it's mainly going to be damaging winds potentially and the threat of some tornadoes across the region. Again, this uh, tornado warning in effect until 315. If you're just joining us, tornado warning for central Cumberland County until 315. Uh, Doppler indicated a potential tornado uh, south of Fayetteville, which is now moving rapidly over the city uh, as we speak. And uh, again, uh, these are some of the uh, areas that may be impacted uh, across the area in the next uh, half hour or so towards Bun level. But anywhere from Fayetteville to the north and potentially into Harnett County, you want to go ahead and be prepared to take cover in case the storm uh, comes your way in Harnett County. If you're in Cumberland County, you want to go ahead and uh, take cover right now, especially from Fayetteville northward. As Scott mentioned, Hope Mills southward, uh, those areas uh, pretty much in the clear now as that storm moves uh, rapidly to the northeast. These are moving very quickly, and we are all under a tornado watch until 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, areas to the east of the triangle are under a tornado watch until 9. Uh, you can see, though, there isn't a, a whole lot uh, going on in terms of severe weather now across much of the rest of the region. We've got some heavier showers here and there. We also are under a flash flood watch, all areas through midnight tonight. Some areas have seen an inch or two of rain, could see more. Still seeing that rotation there. If we go back over to Weather 2, you can see it's still over the uh, the city of Fayetteville, that uh, potential rotation, at least aloft. Now, you can see uh, there's the latest picture just in, Scott, and it's mm -hmm. uh, moved off to the northeast a little bit there. Yeah, and it looks like to me, it looks like it could, it might be weakening just right. a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. As you're seeing, there's, there's the uh, picture just before, and as we put the latest one, you're not seeing those reds and yellows right next to one another, but still, we are seeing an uh, indication of, of at least some rotation that has now moved north of the city. So again, Chris, these are moving very quickly. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom out. And there are other storms that we're watching that are forming along this line. And they're in uh, Robinson County. And uh, we put this into motion. And you can see this line formed down in South Carolina, moved up through Robinson County, and is now uh, pushing through Cumberland County into eastern portions of Robinson County. And it looks like this is headed for uh, Hornet County as well. Now, we're not uh, saying necessarily that the tornado warning is going to be issued or is going to be extended into Harnett County, but uh, that county is the next one that this activity is moving into, as you can see right there. But this is the one that we're watching very closely right now. There's uh, the area of, of uh, concern just now has moved just north of Fayetteville, and I'll go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit tighter. We'll go ahead and lay down some streets here, Chris, uh, to get the folks uh, uh, kind of uh, acclimated to where, the, where this is. It's uh, right along uh, U.S. Highway 401 as you're heading north out of the city of Fayetteville. There's uh, River Road right there. And also, uh, just to the east of that, there's Middle Road. And this is Business Highway I-95 as it reconnects with I-95 off towards the uh, east. So it looks like to me that right now the area of rotation has now moved through Fayetteville. Have not heard any reports of any damage yet or anything. But uh, again, the possible tornado looks like it's now moving north of the city uh, mm -hmm. into the northern suburbs. Exactly. And then uh, northern Cumberland County, potentially southern Harnett County. As you mentioned, it, it may be weakening just a bit, but still that tornado warning in effect. Got Gilbert Bays live on the phone from Fayetteville. And uh, Gilbert, uh, tell us what's going on there, where you are, and what uh, conditions are like. Well, Chris, I'm downtown here on um, Green Street in Fayetteville, right near the market house. Our office is in the Sistel building, and as uh, you came on the air and talked about the potential of a tornado uh, and the, the warning that was issued, we looked out our windows and uh, to the southeast of us, down towards Hope Mills, the sky was completely black. Uh, the wind was blowing extremely hard down here, and um, the system has moved through the downtown area very, very quickly. As it passed through, uh, the wind and rain, the rain was blowing sideways, and um, the sky was so dark, it, it, all the streetlights came on downtown. Wow. But as you mentioned, that system has really moved quickly, and it's passed the county emergency management team. We asked if there was any damage associated with the system, and he said that they've been monitoring it. So far, there's been no touchdown and no reported damage here in Cumberland County. But this thing came through here. I have never seen the system move so fast uh, through the area. You had on the tracking map that it was going to move through Fayetteville in nine minutes, and I don't think the map could keep up with how fast <laughs> system was coming through. Yeah, you're Everybody. right, Gilbert. It was moving about 45, 50 miles per hour, and uh, sometimes these, uh, if they're moving 50 miles an hour and there's a few miles south of you anyway, you're right, it can jump on you very quickly.